Hello folks and welcome to um, Linux for Seniors. You know, I had a previous YouTube site which I had over 450 videos. I kind of went to a general audience. Uh, most of them targeted toward new users, but I'm doing this uh, new YouTube site targeting uh, mostly seniors. So I'm going to be taking a little bit more time to explain my videos moving forward on this particular YouTube channel. So yes, these will definitely be more than two minutes. And uh, my suggestion to you, if you don't have the time, is to either move on to another YouTube site or hit subscribe. That way you can uh, listen to me talk for a little bit and come back tomorrow or the next week and whatever and finish the video. Because I do recommend that you watch this in its entirety if you want to know a little bit more about the Linux subject. And again, the target audience is seniors, but certainly anyone is welcome to watch. Now, with that said, um, I'm going to uh, basically over explain a lot of things. So today's video I'm going to talk about is Linux distributions or distros. Now, um, I'm going to make recommendation like I did on my previous YouTube channel to go to distrowatch.com, not only for the articles, but more for the links in here. The page hit ranking area, I don't want you to focus in on the number of ranks as opposed to the number of links that are in here. There are 100 different links to 100 different distributions, not to be confused with desktops. I'll explain those two differences here as I go. If you click more statistics, there's an additional 170 different distributions for a total of 270. But uh, I'm just going to focus in on the links. now give you some tips along the way on how to read this thing, but more importantly, if you bookmark distrowatch.com, you'll also be able to find out information about the distribution you're thinking of. If you are brand new to Linux, I'm gonna point out a couple of key buzzwords to look for. All right, let's move along, folks. Let's start with MX Linux, just because it's number one. It doesn't mean it's number one in the world, it just means it's ranked number one on DistroWatch. That's all that means. However, this has a lot of wealth of information. So all of the um, screenshots for each distribution on DistroWatch only has the one, even though there's multiple desktops. So I'm gonna click on this screenshot and this is more than likely XFCE. And um, if you wanna think about the desktop environment as this, if you are coming from the Microsoft world or have ever used Microsoft, it's like Microsoft, um, or Windows XP versus Windows 10. They're both uh, Windows Microsoft operating systems, but they're different desktops. The same thing with Linux. Linux has, uh, there's Linux underneath here, but the desktop experience is what we're looking at. The interface, the human interface to the computer. That's what that analogy that I'm trying to press across. So this one has three, Fluxbox, KDE, Plasma, and XFCE, just to give you an example. So again, I only have one screenshot here. All right, let's talk about these bullets up here. So you have uh, OS type operating system is Linux based off of Debian stable NTX. You will also see buzzwords like Arch based or Ubuntu based. It's usually the way they package the uh, operating system and software is how that is the based on. All right, the origin, if you're curious about where the distribution is coming from, this one's coming from Greece and the United States. The architecture, don't focus too much on that, but uh, for your computer users, um, most of your laptops and consoles are either 64-bit processors or 32-bit if it's older computers. The last um, 10 years, I think just about everything is 64-bit nowadays. Um, so, uh, desktops are three, Fluxbox, KDE Plasma, XFCE. The XFCE is more forgiven on older hardware. You'll also find that desktop on plenty of Linux distributions. Now, the category has a lot of different buzzwords. Uh, Raspberry Pi, sometimes you'll see on some of them, but I want you to focus in on live medium and if you see the word beginner, if you're brand new to Linux. So, if you're wanting to test drive something made for new users or beginners of Linux, you may want to look for that category when you're flipping through the stuff on DistroWatch. If you see the word live medium, it's a wonderful tool, 
you go to the respective website of whatever distribution you're on, you click that, and you download one of these desktops. Since it says Live Medium, you're going to take that image that you downloaded for that computer operating system. It's usually a .ISO or something similar. And you will burn that onto a USB stick or DVD and stick it into the computer that you're trying to test this on, fire it up, and you don't have to install anything. It runs directly off the CD or DVD uh, and, uh, or the USB stick. It won't be as speedy as a hard drive, but it'll definitely give you an idea of what, how it behaves and what is on there and what the interface looks like. Maybe a little bit slower, like I said, because it's not on a hard drive. But it also give, will give you the option, like this one here, has an install key. Most of your welcome screens on your Linux distros have that install key somewhere in this page. Also, uh, frequently asked questions, user manuals, and sometimes uh, other kind of information. All right. So again, look for Live Medium. And if you are new to Linux, uh, the beginner category. You'll also see Desktop which is a desktop operating system, you'll sometimes see the word server. This one also supports Raspberry Pi. I'll let you look that up if you're not too sure what Raspberry Pi is. Let me click on number two, Endeavor OS. It's a Linux operating system. It says Linux right here, uh, but it's Arch-based. A lot of Arch-based distributions are terminal-centric. In, in other words, they use a terminal box to install software. Okay. A lot of uh, medium to advanced users like that feature. I have uh, also Endeavor OS as uh, another operating system, and uh, Manjaro is another one I use. And um, anyways, I use multiple uh, Linux OSs. I have uh, usually four or five operating systems per console, and I have two consoles, one on each knee, as one would say. But anyways, um, so this is an Arch-based distribution so out of the Netherlands, and they offer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different desktops. This is a screenshot from only one. Here's a welcome screen with an installer. So this is an Arch-based distribution with a graphical user interface installer. In other words, a GUI, graphical user interface. You'll sometimes hear these weird buzzwords. Not that they're super important, but some people always wonder. Well, that's what we have uh, search engines for, to go search for keywords. All right, so you can see there's lots of different desktops. So we have the live medium. That means I can go test drive these things. EndeavorOSOneWord.com is the website for this one. And then you click the download area. So let me move on to the next distribution. Again, they're different from desktops. Distribution is the people that put together the software. This is Linux Mint, also very popular in the Linux community with new users. You can see that, uh, let's just start at the top. It's an o, uh, Linux OS based off of Debian and Ubuntu. Uh, LTS is long-term support out of Ireland, and they offer three different desktops. The Cinnamon made an XFCE screenshot. This is the Cinnamon desktop. Very popular. Also popular with me. They also offer an XFCE desktop. Again, more forgiven with older hardware. They're listed as a beginner category, but it will grow with you. I can do advanced stuff on this operating system also. And they also offer live medium, meaning you can test drive it. Just go to linuxmint.com. Let's move along. Uh, I'm not going to click on all of them. I will click on a couple more. So Manjaro is also very popular in the Arch community. For uh, It's an Arch-based Linux distribution. I also have this one. And uh, they offer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different desktops, including the XFCE. And also Light Medium. So they're based out of uh, Austria, France, and Germany. There's their website, manjaro.org. All right, so a uh, couple of things to be aware of. There's tons of different distributions. Uh, I have downloaded ev probably every one of these things at one time or another to test drive. And, um, you know, it, this is all subjective to you. What do you like? What are you going to be uh, using it for? 
and uh, is it pleasing to you as the user? A lot of these things, um, like Zorin is another one made for beginners and uh, beginners category. It's a GNOME and an XFC desktop, two flavors. But you know, a lot of people will just go, which is best? And it, you know, that's, that's a word that's an interesting word, which is best. It all depends on what you're gonna do with it. Linux is very versatile. It's so versatile that the Mars rover runs on Linux. The last time I checked. A lot of websites on the internet use Linux. Different types of Linux operating system. But I'm talking desktops today. So um, you have distributions and desktops. And some of them do offer servers. Um, I'll give you an example on it. Ubuntu offers servers. They offer server software. So does Red Hat. Red Hat is very well known in the professional community. So, um, gotta go downstairs, upstairs a little bit here. Uh, Fedora is made by Red Hat, it's another one. Fedora is the, uh, well, the, the Fedora project is owned by Red Hat, but uh, it's the general um, desktop distribution part. But Red Hat makes servers. Makes servers for a lot of different entities. So anyways, what I'm getting at is um, my suggestion to you, if you are a senior looking for a Linux distribution, is go take a look at this webpage, DistroWatch. Go take a look at uh, some of the screenshots. If you find one that is to your liking, download. Um, let's say you are looking for, uh, it doesn't really matter. If you see the word live medium, download it. Give it a try. If you're not wanting to deal with an Arch-based distribution, you want to stick to something like, um, like Mint for beginners, um, then do that. Or um, find some other ones that are, say the word beginner on it. Um, I don't know if Light is. I think Light is a beginner's one too. Yeah. Just, just find one. Download it. Take a look at it. Take a look at the screenshot. You know, it's whatever. Is it pleasing to you? You know, a lot of different uh, reasons why di uh, people download different versions of this. This is one of the reasons that I have multiple uh, different, different, different distributions. But in general, um, they all can download the same type of software for um, programs. I'll give you an example. Um, like GIMP, for instance. This is like Photoshop. Um, you can download GIMP even for Windows or Mac. But they're... All the software stores usually have those kind of pieces of software. Now, a lot of people say, well, there's probably not a lot of software for Linux. Um, there's quite a bit, actually. Um, the last time I checked, Mint has over 60,000 pieces of software, just to give you one example. But uh, a lot of these different distributions uh, have their own package managers for software. Some of them get installed using a website that you look up a piece of information and then use Terminal to install software. DeverOS is, is kind of similar to that. Uh, like Manjaro uses both Terminal and Package Managers to install software, as an example. And there are thousands of pieces of software. I just gave you a couple of them. Office suites are free with most of these distributions, if not all, like LibreOffice is a full office suite compatible with Microsoft Office. At least so I've been told. I don't use Office heavily, but I use a word processor and I use LibreOffice. Does everything I need. Um, web browsers, for the most part, what do people do with their home computers? They surf the internet. They print a couple of letters once in a while. Any of these distributions will do that for you. Some of the more specific distributions also in here, like Kali, for instance is made for um, security and forensics, data rescue. It says that in here. Parrot is another one that is uh, also made for security. There's number 48 for uh, testing, forensics, and security. You know, there's a lot of different things that people do with Linux distributions. But in general, uh, if as a home user, what do you do with your computer? 
Well, you surf the internet. You maybe play some games. Uh, you type a couple of uh, letters and print them. Uh, just about any distribution will do that for you. It's all up to you about the interface, though. How do you like to look at your interface? Now, with mine, I customize mine. And I'll show some videos down the pike how to do any of this stuff. But a lot of the distrib dif different distributions offer all kinds of toys and tools. So on that note, I will say I'm not even sure what that is. I'll click that next. Uh, I'm using a piece of software that automatically changes the wallpaper. Just by pointing at this thing and rolling my mouse cursor. Well, that's a funny looking one. But more importantly, folks, subscribe. There'll be some more videos coming down the pike for Linux for seniors. Thank you for watching.